Hey guys, I'm Patty Sal with Fitness by Patty, and today I'd like to share with you how to tone your legs when you have knee issues. And this is a really common problem. You might have knee issues for many different reasons. Maybe you've had an injury, um, maybe you're carrying around a little extra weight. Do you cross your legs when you sit? Do you sit for long periods of time or do you stand for long periods of time? Um, are you just really tight? Maybe you're running and not stretching enough, like you know that you should. Um, or maybe your patella is misaligned or your kneecap is just out of place. Whatever the reasoning is, um, there's ways ar there are ways around it and I'm here to share with you three exercises that you can do to tone your legs when you have these knee issues. Now, of course, before starting any exercise program, um, be sure to check with your doctor and make sure that you are all cleared and okay to begin. Um, so the first exercise is going to be a deadlift, which I love. Um, we're focusing only on the lower body. We need to strengthen the muscles around the knees, and that means hitting the hamstrings. There's a lot of connections there that happen right at the joint, so um, hamstrings are a really big player in this. So go ahead and grab a pair of weights. Um, there's a lot to a deadlift, so I want to make sure that you're doing it right. So I'll talk you through the alignment. Um, first to set up, your feet are hip width distance apart. Your toes are straight forward. Now the knees, the knee caps, going to roll them outward. So make sure that you're kind of grounding down into your feet and making sure those legs are nice and strong so that the hips over knees over ankles, okay? And now your posture is upright, so pull your shoulders back and down the spine. When you're going down, lead from your hips. So tip from the hips, maybe just below the kneecaps, or if you're not that flexible, maybe it's even less. Um, but you want to feel the pull in your glutes and your hamstrings, not in your lower back. When you come up, you'll squeeze the glutes tight. So from the side, I'll show you. Shoulders back and down, feet are pointing straight, and the kneecaps slightly rolled out, just to activate the core and the quads. All right, so tip from the hips, down, feel the stretching, no pain in the low back, draw the belly in, up and squeeze the glutes. So I would do that 20 repetitions. Now your second exercise, super simple, and you can do this either on a stability ball, on a chair, on a bench, couch, whatever you have available. I like this because it also incorporates balance, which I love. Um, standing or balancing on the one leg, you're gonna lift the knee just above the hip level, and then stay nice and tall, shoulders back and down, draw the belly in, of course, and then kick the heel forward. So we're not lowering the leg. You really have to keep um, the core engaged here and balancing on this leg. So knee high, heel out, and then back. And you'll feel a squeeze in the quads right here, activating hip flexor and quads. From the side, it looks like this. Sitting tall, balance, knee up, breathe in, and extend and breathe out. Now, a lot of times I see people doing this and it's once you start to extend and you start to roll under and your back gets a little rounded, you don't want that to happen. You're really gonna tilt the tailbone back. At the same time, draw the belly in so you have a nice flat spine. Again, up, out, in and down. So I would recommend 20 repetitions on the right, 20 repetitions on the left. And then the last exercise is just calf raises. Um, I like to do these with weights, um, but be sure to start out without any weights, just to make sure that everything is feeling right um, and just use your body weight. So it's just a lift of the heels up and down. Don't do these too fast. You do wanna kind of have control of your body um, and be sure that you're taking your time to these exercises. So. Up, down 20 times to add a little more difficulty. Challenge your balance and do it on one leg. I would just suggest maybe five or 10, just like that, two. All right, and then on both sides so you're not uneven. Um, so those are the three exercises I would recommend to help tone your legs um, if you're having any issues. Um, make sure that you're stretching afterwards and if you need help with programming, um, how to work out, what type of workouts to do, um, I have a great, series of programs on fitnessbypatty.com, so be sure to check that out. Um, also comes with a nutrition guide and a cookbook, which I think that you would really love. Um, I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, concerns, please reach out. But um, until next time, I'll see you there. Thanks, bye.